Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 17. Huan Ying Lai Dao, Coffee Break Chinese. Washi Marke. Ni hao, washi Crystal. And we are delighted to be back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. Crystal, ni hao ma? Wo fei chang hao, ni na? Wo ye fei chang hao. Hai bang la. Okay, in this episode, we are going to be dealing with a, a very important topic for anyone traveling to China or indeed any other Chinese speaking place. That is, of course, looking at. Tourist information. Absolutely. All those important things that you need to find out about opening times and what you can do in a particular place. Very useful if you're planning a trip to a Chinese speaking area. And hopefully at some point in the not too distant future, I will be planning a trip to China or indeed some other Chinese speaking area. We've got much to cover in this mm. lesson. So let's get straight on with the show. 开始吧. 开始吧. 好的. 嗯,好. Okay, Crystal, whenever I am in a foreign country, I always make a, a beeline for the tourist information mm. office. Do tourist information offices exist in China? Is there an official sort of tourist information office that we could visit? It's not as popular as it is in the UK. Wherever you go, the small town in the UK, you, there's a tourist office. But you, you could ask information in a, a railway station or mm -hmm. even in a hotel. Some big cities probably have, a, you know, a designated tourist information center. Okay. And so what would we call that tourist information office in, um, in Mandarin? It's called 游客询问处. Uh, that's quite complicated. Let's hear it again. 游客 meaning tourist. Okay. Let me try that. 游客. Mm -hmm. And then information meaning 询问, meaning to ask or to make inquiry. 询问. Uh -huh. Is that the same 问 as in 请问? 对. Oh, good. Okay. Uh -huh. So 询问. Uh -huh. The office uh, in Chinese here is 处, means the place you go to ask about. 处. 处. So let's see if we can put the whole thing together. 游客询问处. Okay, we'll just invite our listeners to repeat that one more time. 游客 Okay, I'll give it a go. 游客询问处 Okay, so perhaps somewhere else that I'd be looking for in a, in a town, uh, if I were to go to the tourist information office, I may want to ask perhaps about the museum. Mm-hmm. Guan. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can work out the tones there. Bo, second. Yeah. Wu, fourth. Yeah. And then Guan, that must be third. Yeah. Bo, Wu, Guan. Yeah, Let's see that again. Bo, Wu, Guan. Okay, so could I ask, uh, where is the museum using the uh, Zai, Nar? Are you sure about Na? All right, I think I'm getting mixed up between uh nar mm -hmm. and nar okay. so nar is uh, there uh -huh. and nar is where okay. okay it is tricky you have to admit that crystal mm -hmm. <laughs> i agree <laughs> so let's get back i was going to ask where is the museum uh -huh. could i therefore say bo wu guan zai nar Okay, and I wonder if I could also say, where is the tourist information office? Uh -huh. But I think you'll need to help me with the tourist information office okay. again. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so the answer to that, uh, for example, someone might say, it's, it's over there by the museum. Uh -huh. You can say, 游客询问处在博物馆旁边 And that 旁边 is next to. Yes. We've, we've done that before. Mm -hmm. um, so it's 在旁边. Okay, so 在博物馆的. Uh, do, do we need the You can use the, you can omit the. Okay, so 
let's see if I can say the whole sentence here. The Tourist Information Office is next to the museum. Okay. Right. Now, if we get to the Tourist Information Office or indeed the museum, we may want to ask what time does the museum open or indeed what time does it close? So could we look at the words for open and closed? Yes. Open. Kai men. Kai men. Mm-hmm. Kai is open. Men means door. Open door. Okay. So kai men. Mm-hmm. So that door then would be the same uh, character as we've seen in Tianan Yes, men. exactly. Tian- Tian'anmen. Tian'anmen. Right. So the same character there for kai men mm-hmm. for open. What about closed? Guan men. So the same men, yeah. but this time guan men. Guan means to close. Right. So we're question mm-hmm. when or at what time does the museum open? Bo wu guan ji dian kai men. Right. Let me see if I can work out mm-hmm. this. Is the ji the same as ji ge. Mm, How many? Yeah. So ji dian. What time? What time? Mm-hmm. Because we we already did this ji dian in the last mm-hmm. lesson. Um, so what time? So literally we just say museum, what time, open. Right. Nice and easy. Bo wu guan ji dian kai men. So can I guess what time does the museum close? Would that be... Uh, okay. Well done. Can you try what time does the tourist information office open? Okay, I'll leave some space for our listeners to think about this because I'll have to think about it too. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a go. Yo uh, how about what time does it close? Okay, so we're still talking about the Tourist Information Office. Right. Could I say here ta for it? Would I need that? Uh, no, you don't. Okay, so uh, oh, I've got the tones wrong there. Could I just say Mm-hmm. What time does it close? Yeah. I don't yeah. need to see the thing if we've already specified that we're talking about that thing. Okay, now if we're talking about times, perhaps we should just look a little more at time because we did say that we'd be coming back to time in a future lesson and this is it. So let's look a little further at time for a moment. Um, we've already learned things like five o'clock. Wu dian or wu dian zhong. Wu Dian Zhong or eight o'clock? Ba Dian or Ba Dian Zhong? Ba Dian or Ba Dian Zhong? Zhong. Zhong, first tone, yeah. Okay, and when we were talking about it's three o'clock, we suggested that it was possible to say now mm. three o'clock. So what would that be? Xian Zai San Dian. Xian Zai San Dian. Okay, Crystal, are there special words like we have in English for midnight and midday or noon? Yes, mid can be translated as 中, 中间, like in the middle. We've, we've come across that before, from 中国. Right, so the middle kingdom. Middle kingdom, yes. okay. So 中, so midday, you could say 中午. 中午. 午 is like lunchtime. Right, okay. Uh-huh. 中午, so could I say 现在中午? It's mm, now lunchtime? No, you don't say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what about midnight? Uh, okay, in this case, we'll use ban. Ban means half. Okay. okay. So night is ye. Ye. Ban ye. Ban ye. Okay, so two, two different words for the mid part there. Mm. So ban ye for midnight and 中午 for midday. Right. Okay, so far we've learned the o'clocks, the two o'clock, three o'clock and four o'clock and so on. But what about other words relating to time and other expressions? For example, let's say our museum opened at half past nine. 
How do we deal with the half past nine? Right, okay. You say 九点半. 九点 is a nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. 半 is half. Is that the same word we've just learned for midnight? 半夜, yes. Okay, right. So, uh, ban. So, half past nine. So, uh-huh. literally nine half. half. Yeah. Okay. Alternatively, you could just spell out, you know, the digit by digit. 九点三十分. 分 means minutes. Right. So, in that case, uh, 三十, 30. Mm-hmm. 分 means minute. minutes. But you could say an uh, easy way is 九点半. Right, so let's look at these two. So we've got 9.30. We're looking at either at 九点半. Or 九点三十分. Or you can omit the fen. 九点三十. 九点三十. So that's like 9.30. Hmm. Okay, can you give me another time to, to say? Um, how about the museum closes at 5.30? Whoa, okay. So, <laughs> Let's see if I can I can work this out. Uh, would I just say uh, museum half past five close? Yes. Right. So, Bo Wu Guan Wu Dian Ban Guan Man. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've got to think so hard for these. So. <laughs> right. So that's thirty minutes past. What about fifteen minutes past or a quarter past? Two ways. First one is quarter. Yi ke. Yi ke. So let's say five, quarter past five. Wu dian yi ke. Wu dian yi ke. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another way is five fifteen. Fifteen. Can I guess yeah. that one? Okay. So if it were if it were eight fifteen, could we say ba dian shi wu Fen, 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 yeah. fen. How would we spell that in pinyin? F E N first tone. First tone. F E N first tone. Okay. So ba dian shi wu fen. Okay. Right. So we've done fifteen minutes past. We've done half past. What about a quarter two or three quarters past? Yeah. 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 So get it more interesting now. Okay. So you can see uh, three quarters. Yeah. Okay. San ke. Sanke. Because one quarter is 15 minutes. Yeah. So three quarters use sanke. So if it were five and three quarters, so three quarter to six, mm-hmm. uh, would that be uh, wu dian sanke? Okay. Alternatively, you want to say quarter to six, yeah? Yeah. The two is in Chinese is cha. Cha means not there yet. Cha. Uh-huh. So you can say 六点差一刻. So six o'clock, not there yet, uh-huh. one quarter. Exactly. So we're not there yet by one quarter to six o'clock. Right. Okay. So 六点差一刻. Can we say, um, let me see if I could work this out, 五点四十分. Uh, that's 5.40. Oh, so, wu fen. Uh-huh. 5.45. Right. right. So three ways yes. of dealing with right. uh, three quarters, one quarter, two or 45 minutes. Right. Okay, let's put this into practice talking about the opening times. We've talked about the tourist information office, the museum, somewhere else that we might be thinking yeah, about. Yeah, when you visit a foreign country, you might want to visit the market. Okay, right? so what's the market? So the market. Ji shi. Ji shi. Mm-hmm. Ji shi. Okay. So what does that mean? Ji means get together. Right. Shi is a shi chang, a market where you do trading. Okay. Yeah? So in China, especially in small towns, on Sundays, people get together, like our farmer's mm-hmm. market. Yeah. Yeah. They will sell their domestic stuff, they design, or homemade stuff. Okay. So, so it's ji shi. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to ask you when the market opens. Uh, xing wen. Uh, ji shi. Can you say that again?
Okay, I think what you're saying there is that the market opens at ba dian, which is eight mm-hmm. o'clock, and then you said yi ke, a quarter, mm-hmm. uh, open kaiman, mm-hmm. so the market opens at eight fifteen. Yeah. Okay, can we practice this a little more? Can you give me some other opening or closing times? How? Okay, you're talking about the museum, mm-hmm. and I think you said it opens at nine o'clock. Okay, one more. Um, 游客询问处六点半。Right, you're talking here about the tourist information office closing. Can you give me the time again? Ban. That's six thirty. Okay, so the music, the tourist information office closes at six thirty. Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a couple from English into Mandarin now. Okay. The market closes at two o'clock. Now the market was ji shi. Would this be ji shi er dian guan men? When you talk about clock time, it's not er anymore. It's liang. liang. Okay, so I should not have made that mistake. Um, ji shi. Liang Dian Guan Men. Okay. Perhaps one more? Uh-huh. The tourist information office opens at 8.15. Okay. Yo Ke Shun Wen Chu Ba Dian Yi Ke Kai Men. Okay. Uh, or I could have said, "Yo ke xun wen chu ba dian shi wu fen kai men." Hi, bang le. I think the problem is if it, if it were me who was saying this, the, the, we would have passed the opening time by the time I actually managed to say it. Okay, we're going to break now for a, a rather late break, but we'll be back soon to discuss more about tourist information and particularly about the kind of things that we can do in a place. Back in a moment. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Welcome back. We are looking today at tourist information offices and the kind of things that you may ask, whether it be in a tourist information office or indeed at your hotel or in a railway station or anywhere that you can ask for information. And I think one of the most important questions that we can ask is about what you can do in a particular place. So how would we ask the most basic form of that question, Mm -hmm. Crystal? I think you need to understand how do you ask can this okay. concept. So in Chinese is ke yi. Ke yi. Mm-hmm. Now we've come across this before yep. in a couple of situations. Um, how would we say, what can one do here? What can you do yeah. here, for yeah. example? So you say here first, zha ke yi zuo shenme. I'll try saying that. Zha ke yi so, shenma. So, there we're saying here, can, do, what. Right. So, could we replace the so with other verbs? Yeah. Could we see what can, what can we see here? Zha ke yi can guan shenma. Let's hear the word for see. Can guan. Can guan. Literally, it's visit. Right. What can you okay. Visit what do you here? visit? Right. Yeah. So, what sites can you visit? In mm. a sense, 
So, char, ke yi tan guan shen ma? Right? Um, perhaps I'm thinking of other situations when you're traveling. What can, what can you eat here? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I think I know this. <laughs> Is to eat chu, chu. Uh-huh. So could you say char ke yi chu shen ma? <laughs> so it all falls into place. Uh-huh. Um, anything else that you might think? And would be we good? go to the market. You want to buy something? Mm-hmm. You may ask, what can you buy here? So buy is mai. Mai. As in mai dan. Mai dan. Yeah. Okay. So char ke yi mai shen ma. Right, so I guess this is really important to learn phrases that we can replace one word and that changes the meaning of the, the phrase. Of course, we need to also understand the answers, the possible answers that we may hear right. in response. So, Crystal, could you teach us some some words and mm-hmm. phrases that we may hear in response to this? Okay, let's say um, castle. People like to visit castle, right? Mm-hmm. So castle in Chinese, 城堡. So if I say you can visit the castle, uh-huh. So you can visit castle. Precisely. I love it when things are so straightforward. Uh-huh, okay. What else? How about zoo? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Zoo in Chinese. Yuan because Dong Wu means animal. Okay. Yuan is a garden. So this is animal where you garden. keep the animals. Okay. Yeah? So Wu Yuan. I'll try and put the whole thing together. Ni Ke Wu Yuan. Okay. What other things might we want to see or visit? For example, you go to China, you want to see the um, Yuan Ming Yuan, the summer palace. Okay. But it's the ruin now, isn't it? So, ruin, fei shu. Fei shu. Fei means wasted. Right. Um, so, the site, wasted site. Okay. So, fei shu is ruins. Fei shu. Mm-hmm. So, could you say, ni ke yi can guan fei shu? Right. Anything else? Um, you can go to a concert, maybe. Okay. So, in this case, go to a concert, you listen to a concert, isn't it? Yeah. Ting. We've come across that one before, too. Uh-huh. Ting bu dong. Ting bu dong. Yeah, okay. <laughs> don't, you hear, but you don't yeah, understand. Absolutely. Yeah. But hopefully you would understand the, the beautiful language of music if you were listening to the concert. <laughs> so, uh, what was the word for concert? Uh-huh. Ying Yue Hui. Ying Yue is music. Uh-huh. Hui is a meeting where you go and listen to music. Right. Is that the same as in Hui Shuo? Yes, exactly the same word. Exactly the same word. Okay. Uh-huh. In, in Hui Shuo, it means can. You can speak. But this Hui, in this case, meaning a meeting, a meeting. or a conference. And okay. Ying Yue Hui, a music meeting, meaning a concert. A concert. Ying Yue Hui. Mm. So let me see if I can I can see this. I'm going to try and turn it around, and I'm going to try and say I can listen to a concert. Walk ye ting ying yu hui. Fei chang hao. Am I right with the tone and ting? Ting fei chang hao first, first tone. tone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anything else that we could do? Um, if you go to Shanghai, uh-huh. you want to have a river boat. Trip, yeah, it's okay. very popular. Right. So, um, a boat trip, yo chuan. Yo chuan. We have learned yo ke, tourist, yeah? Yeah. So, yo means travel. Okay, okay. and chuan. Chuan means boat, boat. a okay. travel boat. So, you can go on a boat trip. Ni ke yi zuo yo chuan. So, that's like do a boat trip. Zuo, no, zuo means to sit. For example, take a flight or take a train or take a taxi. So this taxi, this zuo means to take. Is that a different zuo? From, different character. From to do something. To do something. Okay, right. <sighs> it's complicated. Um, 你可以做有船. 
Okay, one more, one more thing that we might want to do while visiting China. We like to do hill walking or climb mountains, don't we? Yeah. yeah. So Shan is mountains. You have to climb up the mountains. Pa Shan. Pa Shan. Okay, so do we need anything else in there? 你可以爬山. You can go up to the mountains. 你可以爬山. Fantastic. Now, there are a few words and phrases that I really would like to learn um, because I think if, if one is traveling to, to China, then there are some really important sites and places that we would want to see. And I would say one of them would be the Great Wall. 长城. 长城. So how could I say I would like to visit the Great Wall? 我想参观长城. All right. So, xiang mm-hmm. is would like. Mm-hmm. I would like to visit the Great Wall. What about if we're staying in, in the Beijing area, the Forbidden City? Let's hear that again. Mm-hmm. So, could I say, 我想参观紫禁城? 非常好. I would like to visit the Forbidden City. What about um, the Terracotta Army? Oh. 兵马勇. That's in Xi'an. Okay, so 兵马勇. Terracotta Army, Wasyang Tsangguan Bing Ma Yong. Okay, give us one thing that we could perhaps visit in in Shanghai, the Bund. Oh yeah. Wai Tan. Wai Tan. So could I say Wasyang Tsangguan Wai Tan? Wai Tan. Now this has been quite a long episode. However, I do think we should put uh, some of what we've learned into practice with a conversation before we finish. Mm-hmm. Is that okay? How? How? Okay, so let's imagine I am looking for the museum. So I'm wandering through the streets, perhaps wandering along along the Bund in, in Shanghai. Okay. And I stop a local person to ask where the museum is. How? So I'm the local person then. Okay, that's probably a better idea than me being the local person. <laughs> <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao. Ching wen. Bo 五点关门。谢谢，再见。不用谢，再见。Okay, so let's go through this quickly. Um, I asked Ching Wen, where is the museum? Mm-hmm. If I said Nar, would they would they have thought, oh, he's learned Chinese in, in Beijing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be more natural to see in, in Shanghai? Yeah, Shanghai probably Nani. Nali. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Ting Wen Bo Guan Zai Nali. Okay. And then your answer there was Zai Zheng Ming Guang Chang. Now I think we've done this before. It's the People's Square in, in Shanghai. Okay. And then I asked, is it far? Yuan Ma? Mm-hmm. And I said, Bu Yuan. It's not, not too far, okay. Bu mm-hmm. Xing by foot or on foot. 十五分钟 Right, so that there's something new in there. We know 十五, 15. Mm. Fin is the minutes that we, mm-hmm. we talked about when we were giving time. And then you've added 钟. 分钟 is the same as fin. Fin, we just omit the 钟. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so could could you have said 十五分? No. Okay. Because now we're t- telling the the duration, uh-huh. how long it takes. You do need 十五分钟. Okay, 分钟, mm-hmm. so... 十五分钟, 15 minutes. And then just explain that. 不行. 不行 means on foot. Okay, so it's just like saying 15 minutes on foot. 嗯. 不行, 十五分钟. 非常好. 
then I asked, when does the museum open and when does it close? Mm -hmm. Can you give us that sentence? 请问博物馆几点开门? 几点关门? So when does the museum open? When does it close? And our very well uh, informed local was able to tell us exactly when it opens and when it closes. But you, you said something else. You talked about the morning and afternoon. Yes. 早上 meaning morning. Mm -hmm. 下午 meaning afternoon. So give us the whole sentence. 博物馆早上九点开门，下午五点关门。so it opens at 9 o'clock in the morning and closes at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. That is where we're going to leave this episode because it's a pretty long one. Uh, we'll leave it there. Okay, that is where we're going to leave this episode. But of course, there's much more available. You can watch the video version of this lesson where you'll see all the pinyin and Chinese characters for every word included in this episode. And there's the bonus audio materials and the lesson notes, which will help you get much more out of this episode and indeed all episodes of Coffee Break Chinese. You can find out all about that at coffeebreakchinese.com. If you have ever been to any of the places we've spoken about on today's episode, feel free to let us know on our Facebook page on the post for this lesson. We'd love to see your photos from the Zijing Cheng or Chang Cheng. We would indeed. Okay, we'll be back again soon with more Coffee Break Chinese. Until then, see you. Zai jian. Zai jian. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>